Hello guys and welcome to my channel. If you are visiting this channel for your first time, I do videos about diseases caused by microorganisms and microbial techniques in general. Before I write on, please do endeavor to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification so whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first to know about it. In today's video, we will be covering the following aspects. What is syphilis? Stages of syphilis infection? How is syphilis spread? Symptoms of syphilis? How can syphilis be diagnosed? Effects of untreated syphilis? Syphilis and pregnancy? And the classification of syphilis bacteria? So what is syphilis? Syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection caused by a type of bacteria known as Treponema pallidum. Syphilis is only spread through direct contact with the syphilitic chancre. It can't be transmitted by sharing a toilet with another person, wearing another person's clothing, or using another person's eating utensil. Syphilis can be challenging to diagnose. Someone can have it without even showing any symptoms for years. However, the earlier syphilis is discovered, the better. Syphilis that remain untreated for a long time can cause major damage to important organs like the heart and the brain. Let's take a look at the stages of syphilis infection. So basically, syphilis has four stages of infection. We have the primary stage, the secondary stage, the Latin and the tertiary stage. Talking about the primary stage. The primary stage of syphilis occurs about three to four weeks after a person contracts the bacteria. It begins with a small round sore called a chancre. A chancre is painless, but it's highly infectious. This sore may appear wherever the bacteria enter the body, such as on or inside the mouth, genitals, or rectum. On average, the sore shows up about 3 weeks after infection, but it can take between 10 and 90 days to appear. The sore remains for anywhere between 2 to 6 weeks. Let's take a look at the secondary stage. Skin rashes and a sore throat may develop during the secondary stage of syphilis. The rash will itch and is usually found on the palms and soles, but it may occur anywhere on the body. Some people don't notice the rash before it goes away. The latent stage. The third stage of syphilis is the latent or hidden stage. The primary and secondary symptoms disappear and there won't be any noticeable symptoms at this stage. However, the bacteria remain in the body. This stage could last for years before progressing to tertiary syphilis. The last stage of syphilis is the tertiary stage. Tertiary syphilis can occur years or decades after the initial infection and can be life-threatening. How is syphilis spread? Syphilis is transmitted by direct contact with the syphilis sore during vaginal, anal, or oral sex. You can find sores on or around the penis vagina, anus or in the rectum, on the lips or in the mouth. Syphilis can also spread from an infected mother to her unborn baby. Signs and Symptoms of Syphilis The first sign of syphilis is a small painless sore. It can appear on the sexual organs, rectum or inside the mouth. This sore is called a chancre. People often fail to notice it right away. During the secondary stage, you may have skin rashes and or mucous membrane lesions. Mucous membrane lesions are sores in your mouth, vagina or anus. This stage usually starts with a rash on one or more areas of your body. The rash can show up when your primary source is healing or several weeks after the sore has healed. The rash can look like rough, red or reddish brown spots 
on the palms of your hands and on the bottoms of your feet. The rash usually wounds each and it is sometimes so faint that you won't notice it. Other symptoms of secondary syphilis include headache, fatigue, swollen lymph nodes, fever, weight loss, hair loss, and aching joints. These symptoms will go away whether or not treatment is received. However, without treatment, a person still has syphilis. So, how can syphilis be diagnosed? Firstly, syphilis can be diagnosed by carrying out a blood test. It can also be diagnosed by taking fluid samples from a sore to determine if the syphilis bacteria is present. If nervous system problems are suspected because of tertiary syphilis, a lumbar puncture or spinal tap is being carried out. During this procedure, spinal fluid is collected so that the laboratory scientists can test for syphilis bacteria. Effects of untreated syphilis When syphilis stays in the body for long and finally gets to the tertiary stage, a set of conditions come into play. Such effects are as follows. Destruction of the soft tissue and bones. Neurosyphilis, which is an infection of the brain or spinal cord. Neurological disorders, such as stroke or meningitis. Mental illness, heart disease, memory loss, blindness, and deafness. Syphilis and pregnancy. Mothers infected with syphilis are at risk for miscarriages, stillbirth, or premature birth. There is also a risk that a mother with syphilis will pass the disease on to her fetus. This is known as congenital syphilis. Congenital syphilis can be life-threatening. Babies born with congenital syphilis can also have the following conditions. Rashes anemia, seizures, jaundice, deformities, swollen liver or spleen, and developmental delays. If a baby has congenital syphilis and it isn't detected, the baby can develop late-stage syphilis. This can cause damage to their ears, eyes, teeth, brain, and bones. How to prevent syphilis? Syphilis can be prevented through the use of condom during any type of sexual contact. It can also be prevented by avoiding the sharing of sex toys. Classification of the syphilis causing bacteria Belongs to the Kingdom Bacteria, Phylum Spirochete, Class Spirochetes, Genus Treponema and Species Treponema pallidum. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification so whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first to know.